Hey there, thanks for stopping by. We're going to continue that series of going through all the parts in their current state of the alpha. And today we're actually going to get into all of the epic parts and we're going to start with the judge. Hope you enjoy and let's get into it. All right, so like always, we're gonna go ahead and just take a quick look at the skills, and then we'll show you how to get to the incarnate in either your hall or the incarnate selection screen, and then we'll get into gameplay. So the first um, ability is uh, on the mind part, it's called convict or convict. Uh, since it's a judge, it's probably gonna convict someone. <laughs> um, then is it with the body part, it's called red tape, and then soul is called restitution. All right, I'm actually gonna go into the hall this time to show you what the uh, how to find your incarnate. Uh, just because it gives you a little uh, better imagery of the actual incarnate itself. So there's the hall. And uh, we're looking for the epic judge. So the judge has this icon here. Uh, so we're looking for the purple border. Here we go. There it is. Uh, again, you can tell it's a judge uh, by the icon. It's got all judge pieces by the uh, gold buttons there. And then we also know it is um, the life affinity uh, uh incarnate and we we get that because uh there's life on convict uh, convict there's life on red tape and there's a life on restitution so hey you know like i always say three is greater than two that's simple math uh you know that's how you uh know that it's going to be a life uh affinity incarnate uh so i wanted to go into the hall this uh this time um just because uh you get to see the incarnate itself uh, a little bit more detail. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I really love the judge style and the coloring on this is really awesome. So let's go ahead and now actually get into the gameplay. All right, so there is my uh, judge, the epic judge incarnate. Uh, we saw how to get all those things. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in another uh, random ally just because it does have some abilities that affect allies. And uh, we'll go ahead and see what this thing can do. All right, so the first skill that we're gonna look at is called Convict. It's the mind part on the judge. And let's read it. Attacks enemies in your presence and makes them face the way you're facing. They gain blind for one turn. So the debuff blind is uh, turning the enemy's incarnate range down to zero so they can't attack anything uh, because they don't have any way to uh, get out past their self, basically. Uh, so they, they'll be unable to attack or select uh, the uh, us as the enemy incarnates. Uh, this ability is also based on that attack uh, text that we see a lot in the cards. So anytime you have that attacks uh, kind of in, in orange bold there means that you're, you have to be facing that direction in, in order to attack those enemies. So the, the range here, or actually the highlights are based off of your presence uh, stat. And the presence is uh, five. So if you look at it, uh, we've got, uh, here we go, here's a good example. So one, two, three, four, five spaces away. Uh, there's your presence. Uh, you're seeing the cover for the line of sight issues with uh, these higher blocks. Um, but what this is gonna do is actually gonna attack any of those uh, enemy incarnates that are in that highlighted section there. And then it's also gonna make them face the way you're facing. So this should attack this uh, enemy incarnate. And then it, because I'm facing uh, this direction, this enemy incarnate is going to do a 180 and turn around. So let's go ahead and use it and see what happens. Let's get closer and uh, see this a little bit up close. There we go. So there you go. And he, uh, he turned around and the range down. So we look at this. He's got the blind. Uh, so zero range. So that works well. And uh, let's move on to the next skill. The next skill we're going to look at is the body part. And it's called red tape. We're reading it here, apply weak to your enemies in your presence for two turns. For two turns, gain aura four. And remember that aura is just a static number. It's not based on any of your stats. So gain aura four, steal HP from enemies when they move. So what is this gonna do, right? So it's gonna apply that weak, and weak is a 50% reduction in attack and a reduction of presence by one. So they have less, um, less attack power, so they do less damage. But then they also have that uh, reduction in presence so that any skill based on their presence, uh, they won't be able to go as far. They'll, it's going to be shrunk by one space. Uh, so let's go ahead and use it and we'll see if that aura applies. Okay, so there is the aura there. 
steal HP uh, from enemies when they move. And you can see the highlighted boxes here are showing that the aura is four spaces away. If you look at the enemy incarnate, uh, they have that aura there. So whenever you move, you have HP stolen from you. Uh, just note that this not this aura does not affect allies. You can see that my ally here does not have any aura. Uh, so it's only based on the casting incarnate. So what we're going to try to do is move uh, my incarnates around so that this enemy incarnate moves and we can see that the HP is being stolen. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll uh, cut back to this when we get some movement out of the enemy incarnate. All right, so we're set up so that we should see this enemy incarnate uh, taking some damage and uh, the HP being stolen. We do still have the aura going on with red tape. Uh, the enemy incarnate currently has uh, red tape applied there within that four uh, aura. So I do know that uh, this enemy incarnate is going to try to go after this my ally. Uh, so we should see some movement here and let's see how many times it ticks and uh, if it does transfer that enemy, uh, that damage. So there's the end turn. And there is the tick there. So that 67 uh, number was because uh, it moved in the aura and it took damage based off of that red tape uh, aura. So that's working pretty good. Uh, we didn't get to see it uh, heal me because I didn't take any damage yet, but uh, I've tested it in the, uh, previously and it does, uh, in fact, bring that HP back to the casting incarnate. Okay, so let's move on to the last skill. So the last part we're going to look at is the soul part called restitution. So let's read that. Attack target enemy and heal all allies in your presence for 75% of your defense. So remember that attack bolded orange text means I have to be facing that direction to attack. Uh, it's got to be uh, based on that range. So your attack is going to be based on your range. So you're going to be able to attack anything within uh, the range of five. But then also note that the heal is based off of your presence uh, stat. And the presence here is five as well. So we've got one, two, three, four spaces. So when I attack, I should be healing this ally as well because they are also within my presence. So let's go ahead and see if it works. And uh, let's check out the animations. There we go, nice. So we definitely saw uh, the attack. We also saw the heal on the ally because it was within our presence. So that skill is working great. Another great AOE uh, support heal ability that this incarnate brings uh, or that the judge brings. Uh, so I, it's gonna be one of those great support classes. So there we go. That's all three parts for the epic judge parts. Uh, if you liked the video and you found it informative, uh, feel free to toss a like. If you like the content, toss me a subscribe. It would definitely help me out. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment too. I try to get to all of them. Uh, there's not many now, but I'm hoping that there's definitely a lot of good conversation that comes uh, when we get more players in the uh, alpha coming up this week. Um, I try to take the feedback, incorporate it into the videos that you're seeing. Uh, tell me if I'm going too fast or too slow on the, the parts. Let me know if this is valuable information for you. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next one.